Okay, this video is going to show you how to place the beam and create a break view. So we're going to go up to views. We're going to base. And uh, we need to find our beam. So you click on that folder, find the beam. Make sure you're in your marking gauge. Open. Okay, and the file comes in at a half scale. Um, when we reference our drawing, we're seeing that this is a one-to-one, -one, and you also see that this is broken here. So um, to create that, we're going to make this a one-to-one -one scale. This is called beam. Uh, make sure your caps lock is on. Beam. Um, we're going to click that little light bulb on to show that label. We'll say OK. Now beam has come in, and... Um, but it's really, really long here. All right, so I want to shorten this view. And by the way, when you're, you're back here, you can do your projection to that, that side view. You can create your side view out here. Um, click, right click, um, and continue or say OK. That creates this side view. But I do want to shorten this view. In order to do that, that's called a break. And that's up here under my Views tab. I find the, I'm sorry, I find the break tool uh, select that and then select the view you're going to put your break in this allows us to change the the size of the gap how big that gap is in between it allows us to to change our um, look there and we're just going to accept the defaults because we want to match this right here so um, select this and then come down here onto the view itself where are you going to put that you click on the view and now these guys slide either way you can grab this little piece here and slide it this way and you can shorten this down so you shorten your view uh, to match what we have and then you can pull this guy uh, back closer so that's dropping uh, the view in and um, creating what you need then just hit escape to get out of that double click on your label change your scale here to a 1a size say okay okay and this is going to get moved over here again we are going to be matching what we see here so we want to then dimension these things and put these specific notes on so when we add a uh, regular dimension you go to your annotate click on your object there and uh, you'll note as we zoom in on this we want to grab the end of the object okay and um, I need to zoom back out grab my opposite end down here hold down okay and this shows that the full object is eight inches but it is shown as a break view and that's that symbol that you see in there okay then some other dimensions that we're going to place on here. Use hole and thread to show your um, internal thread specifications for that threaded. And, and so when you look at your drawing here, the hole and thread note is right here. Um, I'm sorry, that's, that's the hole note that's used for the scriber hole. And then this is the hole and thread note used right here for our thread. So we're going to use hole and thread. And we're going to select this view right there. And that brings our external thread note out. Sorry, that's an internal thread. This is a number 10 uh, screw hole, 32 threads per inch. Unified fine is the uh, standard, and 2B is internal. Okay, now we'll use hole and thread again to do this hole right here. Pull out. Okay, and since I clicked the bottom, I'm going to escape again. Make sure you click the top of the circle uh, for your hole and thread. So hole and thread. On the top of your circle pull out and you get your whole note there so that's adding whole notes um, you're going to go back and use your dimension tools and add uh, the other notes we're going to do a, a chamfer note right here so our chamfer note you select that select this pull out okay we are going to modify this note slightly i want this text right here so i'm going to hit escape double click on that i need that text text to be all caps so spell chamfer out and I believe if I hit enter here 
um, it's going to match what we want here is we want uh, that chamfer to be on the second. I also want to add this times two in here. So come back to our uh, note here after angle, write times space two and then chamfer on the next line. And that corrects this right here. So you just double click on this text to edit. OK, don't forget you want to place your center marks, center mark on this circle, center mark on the big circle. Okay, and then you're going to do a center line down the whole center of the beam. So this is a round object. So click and click, right click and create. Okay, go back through and place the additional notes of dimensioning um, that are needed for the height of the uh, flat there. And uh, looks like we also have a uh, note here for the diameter, uh, or sorry, to say the radius of the beam uh, that needs to put in there. And then you're done with the beam. So uh, just those final file notes to your dimensioning. You're going to do uh, this, this line right here. And just like that. Say OK. And the diameter or I should say the radius, make sure you get that little circle with the arrow, click, pull out, and uh, I do need to zoom out here a little bit. Um, and if it's a little, little tight, you can adjust some things. You're trying to match up what's on the layout here, so there's a little more space in there. So we're just going to adjust things. We'll move our, our view label down, um, hit escape. Move your view label down, and if you need to, you can pull this out a little bit, and the, the uh, dimensions are going to adjust with that. So we can just fine tune our leaders, move things around. So that's putting your beam in, um, adjusting your views where you need, double click on your text, edit your text, okay, setting the beam.